Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel, Anime Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. First of all, actually most of all this week, what I have to talk about is Fascinations. Fascinations went to the New York Toy Fair this past weekend, and there were a number of people that took pictures of the models that they had on display and shared them on social media, mostly Instagram, but also Twitter. I've collected a lot of pictures. I shared a lot of the stuff that I found on social media myself. But of course, I've been saving it to talk about it in today's video. I'm not even sure where to start. I, at this point, there's been so many things talked about and shown pictures. I can't remember what was known about before, rumored before, talked about before. I get a little mixed up on some of that. But I'm going to start with the Star Wars models because Star Wars is the big thing. There were three different Star Wars models, figure models that were put out, and I'm pretty sure there were at least rumors floating around about these before seeing these pictures. But on, at the New York Toy Fair, there were several pictures taken of Darth Vader, full-sized Darth Vader, full-sized Boba Fett, I believe Boba Fett, could be Jango Fett, and a full-sized stormtrooper. There were pictures taken from the front, from the side, from the back. There was quite a lot of detail. They were also taken or sat in front of, I believe it was the Millennium Falcon. And I can see one of the pictures, the Millennium Falcon, the Metal Earth Millennium Falcon, the Metal Earth Advanced TIE Fighter are behind them. So it gives you an idea of how tall these two models are. They are pretty tall, or three models. They're pretty tall. Looks like... They have bases that are customized to each each individual figure. Darth Vader appears to have a lightsaber. The Stormtrooper and Boba Fett both have their, their gun. There were also pictures taken from the back. Actually, Darth Vader also has his hand out in like a force choke. I mean, why wouldn't he? But there are pictures taken from the back. You can see the back of Darth Vader's head and his helmet and cape that he's wearing. I do want to point out that it was mentioned at least one point that the Darth Vader face looked a little off because I, they're not through. They haven't quite worked out all the details of how that model is going to come together. They're still working on it basically. So at least the Darth Vader is not a finalized model and this is a normal thing to happen when they show stuff off at toy fairs and try to gauge an interest in it. So toy fair wasn't open to the public. It's mainly for retailers to get any idea of what kind of models and toys and whatnot that they have but the Darth Vader is not finished so if it looks a little off that's why or at least they're still working on it you can see the back of the stormtrooper and the little canister things and backpack square things that they have on the back you even see some detail around the neck you can see the back of uh, Boba Fett's like rocket gun thing. There's so much detail in all these models. There are also pictures of the packaging. It looks like the the three Star Wars figures are going to be a, a premium series, which is the name that's being substituted for Iconics. So they're basically Iconics models. They're calling them premium now. And we got pictures of the packaging, the front of the packaging of those three models. Another figure that they had on display was a Deadpool, and there was something. Previously, I do remember something showing Deadpool in the background. Now we have an actual picture of Deadpool. There were a couple of different ones, but not as many of of Deadpool as of the Star Wars figures. Deadpool, however, there's a tag that lists Deadpool as being a regular Metal Earth model, not an Iconics model. So that's interesting. Though Deadpool looks to be fairly large. I do have one picture that was sent that has... Deadpool, Cap Shield, and then Iron Man on the other side. So you can see that Deadpool, even though he's a has an MMS designation, a Metal Earth model, he's still not quite twice as tall as Iron Man, but taller than the regular Metal Earth Iron Man. Pretty tall Metal Earth model right there. I'm surprised that it's not considered iconic. So I don't think I have any pictures comparing... Deadpool to the Star Wars models, so I can't tell how close or how different those sizes are. Speaking of Marvel, there's also an Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet that was on display. I got a picture of it fairly up close, and I also got a picture of the Infinity Gauntlet beside Stormbreaker, which is a lot bigger than I expected, with 
war machine behind it stormbreaker is as big if not bigger than war machine and the infinity gauntlet is almost as big as war machine it's really surprising how big some of these models are another big one that has been talked about and teased about before was the terminator model and i did get quite a lot of pictures of the silver terminator model that was on display pictures from the side from the back i think there was even one picture looking through yep there's one picture of terminator compared to iron man and the terminator is almost twice the size of iron man so that's going to be a really big model i already know from code bookie building the peace cool terminator that that was a pretty long complex and really awesome model i'm guessing that the silver terminator from metal earth is going to be something similar pretty impressive there are also some pictures of planes included many of the planes we've talked about or seen before now we're seeing some together clear pictures and some what of a comparison there is the lockheed u2 spy plane there is the p40 warhawk or war wildcat is it wildcat or war I believe it's warhawk it's kind of hard to see the label but i think it's the warhawk and there was a teaser for that in the metal earth newsletter i'm surprised the most recent metal earth newsletter hasn't come out yet so i think there might be some interesting information in there as well you can see the Iconics P-51D. I don't know if that's coming to market or if they're just playing around with the idea. You can see the Fokker DR-1 triplane. You can see the V-22 Osprey, which recently came out. So now, you just, basically, we know about most of those models. Now we have kind of an idea of size comparison of the different ones. It was also an interesting model or interesting picture of a Kawasaki Ninja. GP XR900 R don't know any information about that just have the picture I haven't gotten any details about if that's just a prototype if they're seriously thinking of going through with that if somebody was just playing around winds and coming out no details on it but it was a there was a model there at the toy fair and there were a couple of different pictures of it so that was pretty cool it was another somewhat oddly angled picture there as well that I couldn't completely make out what it is and from what I'm told and from what I see it's a very unfinished model so I don't want to speculate on that I've got plenty of other models coming out to speculate on this is one I've heard nothing about uh, I think code wiki post about it and kind of blurred the image because it's it's, it's very, just I'll just say that it's very different from anything that we've seen before very different from the other models that i've already talked about something com almost completely new interesting concept that it actually gets more completed but for right now i'm just going to leave it under wraps i don't want to show the picture because i don't feel like it's com anywhere near complete then again that just may have been the bad angle of the picture anyway there's a lot of information a lot of pictures that showed up from the toy fair and if you want more pictures you can check out my instagram i posted most everything there I also posted on my patreon for patreon supporters to check out and might get a little bit better of a picture through patreon than through instagram but there it is so so much information there was even talk rumors about a possible yoda baby yoda model don't have any pictures for that that is just a rumor that came about at one point during all of these pictures coming out don't have any specific confirmation or details on that but there's a possibility of a baby yoda and that kind of makes sense that they would come out something since the mandalorian thing is out i i was kind of waiting for something to come from that series i haven't actually watched it myself I'm going to get around to it eventually but I, I've certainly heard of the Baby Yoda phenomenon, so I guess if they're going to pick something to come out with, I guess it would be some makes sense that it would be something popular like that. Just a rumor for right now. On top of all of that, there was a picture posted, not from the Toy Fair, at least I don't think it was from the Toy Fair, but it was from Instagram user Smiler021513. They posted a photo or snapshots of the 2020 catalog saying the 2020 catalog is out and it included a number of the models that we've just talked about that were at the toy fair but the one 
that I had heard nothing about prior to this, and that was the International Space Station. It looks like there's an International Space Station coming soon in 2020, or sometime in 2020, so much so that they've already included it in the catalog, so that's pretty serious. It's difficult to get a close-up of our good picture of it because it was included in a larger picture on Instagram. And I'm guessing, I'm thinking it's a Metal Earth model and not an Iconics, but I could be wrong. Nope, take that back. I did zoom in on it, and it is an Iconics ICX-140 International Space Station. So that's pretty exciting. And it is another trend that I'm seeing with Metal Earth. They're doing a lot of space models, which is really cool because if I'm not mistaken, Metal Earth, the company Fascinations, the idea behind them in, in the beginning was to have educational toys and space things of space well, why not I mean that that just kind of fits with what information I have about Metal Earth it makes sense that they would be interested in doing space type models and they have come out with quite a few more than I've been able to keep up with building there are a few other rumors floating out there as well and they're so far from being confirmed that I'm just not even gonna bring them up at this point there's been plenty to talk about and plenty to show in this week's video from the toy fair definitely gonna have to keep our eyes out on the metal earth website to see what's coming next what gets published on coming soon prior to starting this video i didn't see anything new popping up in coming soon or the hogwarts castle still hasn't moved over and there was by the way a hogwarts castle model in all of those pictures as well just to kind of get an idea of the size of it, it was pictured with a couple of other things the only other thing I saw on Metal Earth I thought was kind of interesting, they're actually looking for a job opening, or looking for a position to fill a warehouse associate. <laughs> this is the one new thing I've been able to find on Fascination's website. So, I don't know if you're interested, if you live in the, I think it's SeaTac area or Seattle area, check them out and see if that's something that you might be interested to do. And if so, give me a message. Maybe you can uh, provide another inside scoop for me. Ha ha, wink wink. Yeah, that's that's gonna look terrible. I don't have my glasses on. I don't know how bad that looked. Everywhere else, peace cool, AliExpress, crazy toys, everyone else is still quiet. I can only speculate as to what's going on there. I imagine China is pretty busy with their own problems right now, but I'm not gonna keep going into that. I'm gonna jump right into talking about last week's topic and last week's video. I basically asked the question, would anyone else like to see engines, like car engines, or any other engine models for that matter? Got the hiccups. And I talked about a couple of, of ideas like a flathead Ford V8 or Slant 6, just some, you know, interesting, I don't know, some things that pop off the top of my head. I did get a few responses, which of course I'm going to read right now. Christopher Thorpe says, Hi Brad, car engines, through the ages maybe, but why stop at car engines? Jet engines would be a nice addition as well. And I agree with that. And kind of one of the things that gave me that idea is because there is another manufacturer, I think it's Microworld, has a jet engine out there somewhere on AliExpress. So that part of what gave me the idea, jet engines would be cool too. Not really limiting it, the idea to car engines, but just kind of, springboarding from there code wookie i'm not much of a car guy can't do much to fix my car myself so it's probably no surprise that i couldn't tell you the difference between all those engines you just listed off however i do like learning how things work and i think an engine model would be pretty cool especially if they found a way to do it as a cutaway model like the submarine and blimp models being able to see the inside, that would be super cool. And I would strongly agree with you. Another th reason that this idea popped in my head is because originally I came from working with plastic models like Ravel and AMT back in the day. I was nowhere near as good at building them as I've gotten with the Metal Earth models. But I, I do have somewhere I have, I think it's a Ford engine and it's one that's like a cutaway. And you can see some of the insides. I know those exist. There's two or three different plastic model engines out there. So that would be cool. And it would go in with what I perceive as the idea with Fascination. I mentioned it earlier. Didn't even really mention that with the idea of connecting this later. But the fact that they have educational type models or you know models about space and models about architecture. So you get exposed to those things. It, makes, it seems like it would make sense to have a model 
of an engine, even if it's a generic engine, to have an idea of what the inside, like a cutaway, so you can have an idea of what the inside looks like and how it works. That'd be a lot of curved parts right there, but it would it could potentially be really cool. BBEE hybrid. I think an old airplane radial engine would be an awesome, would be awesome. Other ideas, disc golf basket, compound bow, speed boat trailer car engine, airplane turbine engine, shotgun, uh, steel chainsaw, leaf blower, cement mixer truck, microscope, Harley Davidson snowmobile, human skeleton on a stand, hot air balloon, top fuel dragster, wristwatch, fishing pole, NASCAR, Statue of Liberty, barbecue grill, big bottle rocket, Buzz Lightyear, arcade claw machine, and keep up the great work. That is an interesting and, and somewhat long list, and I think there are a lot of interesting ideas there. It actually reminds me of something a friend of mine, a friend of mine had suggested, or had asked if the model had existed, uh, a wrecker, an old style wrecker, not flatbed, but the old hook and lift wrecker. That would be an interesting model, in my opinion. But yeah, there's a lot of really neat ideas there. The compound bow, turbine engines, chainsaw leaf blower, that's interesting. Cement mixer truck, I think there is a model out there somewhere of that, but not through Metal Earth. Top fuel dragster, there's definitely some interesting ideas right there. Something to, uh, to keep in mind. And one more comment from bluesman0903 ford trimotor that would be cool and yes that would be cool i only vaguely have an idea what a trimotor is but it makes me think of the gto's that had the tri carburetor engines which might be another interesting one to put out i think i've bypassed it radial engines and, and bbee mentioned radial engines and i think that's a fantastic idea i can't believe i skipped by that without going back exhaustive list almost made me forget about it for a tri-motor engine that would be cool and a radial engine airplane engine would be super cool and fun to look at so for this week's question once again kind of an expansion of what we've already talked about i mentioned what kind of engine would you like to see and was thinking a lot of car engines and some of the comments that were left here made me think about other small engines and not just the engine per se but the the things around small engines what about models of say things like a atv or a three-wheeler or a snowmobile or a jet ski or something like that what about models of things that have small engines don't want maybe a ride a lot more that's an interesting one but something fun there are certainly a number of fun vehicles out there for people that have small engines. What is something like that that you would like to see? I personally would love, love to see some three-wheelers. I've mentioned that in a video quite some time back, and there's been some small talk about a possibility or ATVs, but ATVs, jet skis, snowmobiles, things like that. There's some other possible things that maybe metal earth could come out with what do you think leave your comments in the uh or leave your answers in the comments down below one other thing i apologize for today's video being late if you didn't see on social media i have some issues this morning i woke up with kind of an elevated heart rate and uh was a little concerned about that and just wanted to make sure i took care of myself first if i had some palpitations off and on the past few days and it appeared that maybe i've been getting dehydrated unintentionally so I kind of took it easy this morning because I am recording this late Friday, but I took it easy this morning to try and drink water and relax and take care of that because that whole issue caused some anxiety for me. But here we are. Don't know that I'm going to get this video posted Friday, which is tonight because it's getting really close to the time it usually goes public, but hopefully at least by Saturday, whenever you're watching this, you'll know. I apologize for the delay, but... I'm sure you can understand the uh, priorities there. So thank you for being patient. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for continuing to support this channel. And I do also want to say thank you to all the people on Instagram and social media that shared all these photos so I could share them here today. Thanks to Diversions Games, Hobby Express, and Fan the, Fan the Tracks. 
of Instagram as well as a few anonymous people that didn't wish to be named. Thank you for sharing those pictures on Instagram. Seems like the kid's home. I'm going to leave it at that. And as always, thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.